Hello everyone and welcome to this what I eat in a day video. I'm going to take you through my whole day today to show you what I'm having as a yoga teacher and holistic health coach and I hope you'll enjoy it. I always start my day with a big glass of warm lemon water which is one of the best ways to support your gut health first thing in the morning and to kickstart digestion. It also supports the skin health because it has super many antioxidants. What's really important though is to not drink it hot. So I always first add some cold water and then I top it up with boiling water so that it's lukewarm, which then for the body makes it much easier to absorb. For breakfast, I currently really love baked sweet potato. So I wash it and before placing it in the oven, I use a fork to make some small holes into the skin. And I usually always make two to have one for tomorrow or for later. And then placing it in the oven for about an hour at 180 degrees on the two-sided heat. Next, I am making a matcha. I either have matcha or coffee every morning. And I prepare the matcha in the traditional way, placing three scoops into a bowl and then topping it up with a little bit of hot water, but making sure the water is not boiling hot, but it's supposed to have around 80 degrees Celsius. And then whisking it with this wooden whisk to make sure it's fully dissolved. And I have linked a matcha powder that I can highly recommend for you down below in the subscription because with matcha there are really huge differences in quality and you want to make sure you have a really good high quality one. I always top it up with a bit more hot water and then just a little bit of almond milk. And from there I take it over to my yoga mat for my morning practice. After that, it's time for breakfast and we have to check up on the sweet potatoes which are finally done and perfectly baked through. And I take one and slice it in half and you have to look at the color now. It looks incredible. It comes from all the beta carotene that is in sweet potatoes and they are just in general an amazing healthy food. They are highly nutritious, they promote gut health and also healthy eyes and so much more. And I top them up with some walnuts, chia seeds, cacao nibs, some maple syrup and then also almond butter, which I absolutely love. I am really obsessed with nut butter. And lastly, some raw cacao powder and some silent cinnamon. As you can see, I have quite a big breakfast. I make it a priority because it's really, really good for hormonal balance and health, especially for females. Next up, we have lunch. I'm having an avocado toast with some eggs. And I first make the avocado, which I slice and put into a bowl because I actually make it like a guacamole. So I mash the avocado and then I slice some cherry tomatoes into small pieces and add them to the avocado. And an absolute must for me is to add some lemon juice. So I squeeze half a lemon, then I add a tablespoon of skia, or you can also use yogurt, preferably Greek yogurt to have some good protein with it. And both Greek yogurt and skia are an amazing source of probiotics. So incredibly good for gut health. Adding in a little bit of salt as well. And then I will toast some sourdough bread in a pan with some olive oil. I usually keep some sourdough bread in my freezer and I absolutely love it. It's also super good for gut health. Next, I make some scrambled eggs and for that I pour two eggs into a bowl and mix them together. Also adding in some herbs as well as a bit of salt. And for frying the eggs, I actually use avocado oil, so not olive oil like with the bread, because when you fry something in a pan on very high heat, it's actually better to use vegetable oil instead of olive oil. And then I pour the whole mix into a pan and scramble it. And once it's all done, I put it together on a plate. And as you can notice, 
I'm not a vegan. I get that question asked all the time. I'm also not a vegetarian. I found that having animal products is really good for my health, especially my hormonal health. I had all of that tested, but of course everybody is so different. So I think it's important to figure out what works best for you. And coming back to our avocado toast, I always top it up with some spices and some herbs and this is a very nutritious lunch with a great mix of carbs, healthy fats and protein. Throughout the day I always drink lots of tea and my favorite is herbal tea so I really love mint tea for example or chamomile tea and in the afternoon I always add a little snack to it. I really love almonds and cashews, those are probably my favorite nuts and I usually snack on them throughout my whole afternoon and they are the perfect snack because they contain so many nutrients and all the good healthy fats and also protein, so we love nuts. <laughs> For the evening, I make some self-made falafel and for that we need a food processor and in that we add some garlic gloves, one onion and a glass of cooked chickpeas. I, by the way, put all the exact amounts into the description for you down below. And then also some parsley and cilantro, squeezing in the juice of half a lemon two tablespoons of tahini and one tablespoon of olive oil, an amazing source of healthy fats and antioxidants and lastly a little bit of salt and then mixing all of it together. Once that's done, I pour the whole mix into a bowl and add some chickpea flour. I do that according to feeling, depending on how moist the dough is, because we want to make sure it's not too moist so that we can then start to form the falafel out of the dough and place it onto a baking tray. And once that's done, they go into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius on a two-sided heat and stay there for about 20 to 25 minutes. And meanwhile, I start to make a salad. I love to chop some cucumber and red bell pepper, but basically you can use any vegetables for the salad that you like. One of my favorite things to add into a salad is pomegranate. It is highly anti-inflammatory. I also love to add some baby spinach and for the dressing I keep it very simple. I just add a bit of olive oil and apple cider vinegar and then some herbs as well as a bit of salt. Then I love to add some feta cheese into it as well. And in the fridge I still have some lentils, so I'm adding those in as well. Black beluga lentils. And then mixing it all together. And while the falafel is still baking, I chop up the rest of the vegetables to store those in the fridge. So I can just throw it all together for a meal tomorrow, which is what I usually do so that I don't have to cook from scratch every day, but I meal prep a lot of the things that I do. And the falafel is done, so I'm putting that out of the oven and I'm putting them on top of the salad and dinner is ready. I put the rest of the falafel into the fridge for tomorrow as well. And of course, there has to be a dessert. I am a very sweet kid. <laughs> I need something sweet, especially after dinner. And I really, really love medjool dates. So that's probably my favorite dessert is to have some medjool dates and fill them with almond butter. And wow, I just think it's one of the most delicious things ever. And it has no refined sugar. The dates have so many nutrients, so many good vitamins and they are also extremely beneficial for gut health. So overall, the food that I had today was 
very good for the gut which is extremely important for overall health so we definitely want to take good care of our gut and i hope this video gave you some inspiration on how to do that definitely let me know if you want to see more videos like that and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can leave them down below in the comments and i hope i'll see you in the next one